such high hopes. I really didn't. Skip to my Lou, my darling. Hi guys, it's Lou. Today we're going to make our own makeup item that I think is pretty much the most important part of putting on makeup for me. We're gonna make mascara. And I kind of thought about this and got the idea for this when I was in Lush with Ava and she was trying on some of their mascara and it kind of occurred to me, what the hell is in my mascara that I'm using? I love it, but what kind of chemicals could be in there coming so close to my eyeballs? As it turns out, there are a few ingredients that I can't even pronounce, but the ones I can are aluminum powder, benzyl alcohol, methyl paraben, methyl paraben. I, I don't know, it starts with meth, so that can't be good. Anyway, when I researched how to make your own mascara, I found several recipes. I chose the simplest one with the least ingredients, although most of them only had five or six. This one has four, and it's all organic and vegan, 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 so you can eat it. I think. So we're gonna step in my kitchen now and mix up some goo to apply on my lashes. So here we go. The ingredients needed, organic beeswax, charcoal capsules, coconut oil, and aloe vera gel. Sounds simple enough. Now I must tell you I followed the directions as closely as possible, but there are some variations as to how waterproof you want your mascara and the lasting wear. So here's a little dish that I put the beeswax into, and then I added the coconut oil. And I tried to heat that up in the microwave because I am extremely lazy and it calls for a double boiler situation and um, just those words scared me but you know what the microwave didn't melt the beeswax it did melt the coconut oil but not enough to get the beeswax to melt and combine with it so after getting those two things to finally combine I added the charcoal capsules and the aloe vera gel I'll tell you it did not mix easily I had to heat that stuff up and stir it constantly until I finally got a consistency that I liked or at least that I thought I liked. Now of course you're gonna put this stuff on when it's dry, not hot and liquid like. But my concoction was all kinds of crazy. Part of it was too thin, part of it was too thick, part of it was too liquid and the other part was too waxy. So after much trial and error I soon figured out what the problem was and for me it needed more charcoal to have the consistency that I wanted. Anyway we have the finished product right here. I started out with three times as much as this and it all dwindled down to enough for this video at least. What I'm going to do is I am going to apply the homemade mascara on one eye Wait, let's switch those. The homemade mascara on my right eye and my favorite mascara on my left eye. And I will go about my day and we will compare the two and see which one held up better and see whether I will ever in my whole life make mascara again. So I am going to take my spoolie and get some of that goo on there. And as you can see, it's sort of a hard consistency. Now, of course, you're supposed to put this in a mascara tube, but I don't have one and I'm not so sure I want one. I don't know how often or if ever I will do this. It kind of depends on what happens here. The tube would have enabled me to at least squeeze the excess off of the spoolie. Okay, it put a little bit on there. I'm thinking that I'm gonna need a couple of coats of this stuff. So let's do one more. Not so much. This is just how it goes. So we've got a good first coat and now we're going to use my favorite, Voluminous, and this is Carbon Black. You don't really need to see me do this, do you? Well, yeah, already this one's much better. I kind of expected that. You have to want to go organic vegan for your own reasons to make your own mascara. And I love organic, I love vegan, but I also love Voluminous. Second coat. So you know what's happening is the second coat took off more than it put on. I'm gonna keep trying. Okay, that's not bad. Well, yes it is. All right, well to be fair to my left side, I am only going to put this much mascara on both sides. And it's about even, but I'm thinking that you kind of have to master the recipe to get it right. And that is not something I've done. I'll be back in a couple of hours and we will see the results. Cello. Um, it's been about 
I don't know, two and a half hours, not very long, a lot of the homemade mascara flaked off my face. Literally, if you touch it even a little bit, you can feel it sprinkling onto your cheekbone. Don't like that. The other side, however, is great as usual. Yeah, that's a significant difference. Let me take a picture for you. Nah, that's not a good one. Let's take another one. You can look up my nose holes. Ooh, that's so creepy. I really don't enjoy pictures of myself. That's why you don't see much of me on Instagram. You'll see funny memes and pictures of my kid or a plant, but very seldom a selfie. All right, one more time. That's better. I can still see that I have mascara on the right hand side, but if I wanted, I can't even say if I wanted it to last throughout the day, I would have to use the other one. I would have to use the other one no matter what because this does not stay on. That is not to say that I did not mix the stuff up correctly or that this recipe wasn't exactly how it should be. What I do know is there are organic and vegan mascaras out there that you can just purchase in a tube. You don't have to go through what I went through to make this stuff, unless of course, you think it's fun and you want to. More power to you, not me. What I am gonna do is look and see what my favorite mascara has in it and see whether or not I would like to go the organic vegan route just to be a good human being. Just in case you guys want it, I will put the recipe for the mascara down below. Trust me, the amounts of those ingredients, that's not what I have here. This all ended up to be a hodgepodge of craziness that obviously didn't even work. Okay, I really have to even this out right now because it feels lopsided. <sighs> oh my God, I feel so much better. So that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video on do-it-yourself mascara. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something. I know that I did. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you aren't already subscribed, but would like to be, please hit that button down below and you'll see me very soon with more videos. Bye, guys.